Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how we can convert a float number into integer number in our Android app. So let's begin. We will create a new project. Name this project probably float to int. And click finish and wait for my environment to load. Once the environment loads up, the first and foremost thing I will do is I will run it in an emulator and so that my emulator and the app loads in parallel and in the layout I will most likely I'll keep this text view as it is because we'll use we can use this to display our output I'm just zooming in so that I can make the size bigger and make it a little bigger so that we can see our output here and give it some ID say for example text view and size most likely we can increase to something like 20 yeah okay and then uh, we can use a button or before button I will implement a edit uh, text of decimal form because we will be needing our float so please note we will put decimal and over here what we can do is we can uh, just go on top do the right constraints and as an input to this or as a hint to this particular uh, edit text what we can say is enter float number here so this will be like a gray light gray text here disabled text okay idea will leave it as it is and i'll also put a button which will trigger the conversion so i'll name this button as convert float to int and then I'll give the constraints that's it I guess yeah perfect and now in my java code first I'll create okay right inside my app has come up good but let's complete our code so public void button convert float to int view view perfect I think here the spelling is a little yeah, convert and then I can create class variable edit text edit text float and I will associate this class variable edit text float find view by id r dot id dot edit text decimal yeah i'll go back to the layout to associate this particular method to my on click attribute of the button so over here if i scroll down in this on click attribute i can connect it with the method which we just don't define perfect and uh, yeah now to convert it or i will also need one more private class variable for text view because I will be using my text view to display the output so I can just name it as text view find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect and now what we can do is we can first pull out the float from the string so what we can do is we can define float input so this is my input and what we can do is we can float value of and this second one we can use and we can give the input to this particular method as in a string format which we will get from our edit text get text to string yeah perfect so once we have it in our float format then we can convert it into integer type and that what we can do is we can use something like no 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 int and int output and the output could be uh, output will be we can use this float so over here we have to convert this float to integer so what we can use is there is a method called math dot round and the input to this will be float input that's it and now we can print this in our text view to see what is the output so set text and we can do int or string and then value of and we can give this as an input int output perfect let's run this code and see 
how it comes up so it's a very s simple code i just wanted to show you that the main method is matched or round but i also have to create the widgets to sh display our output so i'll give some input say for example 1.235 and click one uh, i click convert so it converts it to one because that's the nearest integer i'll use some bigger number so now one four five six so i'm randomly giving some number again it con converted into the integer which is one four five six eight i will use some other demo nine eight seven let's see what it happens so it can convert into 55 because when it's 0.9 is more than 0.5 it will go and round it off so we are rounding off by this method line number 28 to the nearest integer so this math library will take care of that so that's how it's converting so we can also test it by no sorry about this you can also test it by doing it just 5 and see what it happens so it is still uh, 55 but if we give i think 4 9 it should go at 54 because it's less than 0 0.5 so anything 0 0.5 or above will uh, round it off on the higher side and anything less than 0.5 will round it off round it off on the lower side so yeah that's all i hope this short video is useful the main method is this one match dot round uh, which i wanted to show you and if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this video then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye